there's so much we could say, and then we'll be giving away the second season. That's fair. But it's really exciting. And the show hasn't even touched on what the show is really about. Yeah. And the, the novel doesn't even really hit that till about halfway through. What was the most essential part of the original novel that you wanted to make sure came through in the series? I think for me, it was how do you capture the sort of fairy tale quality that Victor had in the novel, but that was grounded very much in a sort of real New York. Mm -hmm. And I think that was something that, was, you know, Melina and I, definitely Melina doing the pilot and myself coming in after her, were really looking about going, definitely want to set this in real New York, in Harlem, in Washington Heights, you know, the real Big Brother Island. But also make it feel magical, make it feel horrifying, um, and believe me so. And so that was, you know, it was really trying to honor that. Um, yeah. It's the um, scene intelligence of Victor's novel and how Kelly had shaped that into and maybe also a juicy episode of TV. Like, it's you know, some things on a page could be deemed on a film or too complex and not linear enough. And we kind of stayed really faithful to the tone of the book and like the imagination of Kelly to pull off as directors something that felt rich and nuanced and complex and evolved for the Parenting. Seriously, just parenting. I was so blown away and connected so much on that father, being a father, and seeing how that grounds all the horror around it, that I felt like that would really kind of make people jump because we could just make that connection. That was really exciting. Definitely. And then can you talk about this cast? Because they are just phenomenal throughout the whole series. Yeah. They're, they're phenomenal throughout the whole series. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, are, they are amazing. I mean, you know, uh, to see Lakeith come in and, and be so involved and so present from, from the very beginning, from literally, you know, from the inception of the scripts with Kelly through to through production and onwards. And I think seeing him bring, you know, dig deep into his own personal experiences and uh, his experience as a father. And then at the same time, also being incredibly collaborative and letting and bringing the best out of all the rest of the cast as well. You know, I think it was such a generous set that Clark and Nina and, you know, Alexis and, you know, Sam and everyone, you know, Sam had not acted in anything before this. And Lakeith came and sat and worked with him and was always just behind the camera. And yeah, I mean, it, the cast is phenomenal. And it comes from the writing as well. You know, the writing is awesome, but they all brought a level of dedication to this that I haven't seen before. So. Yeah, they make really good as directors. Yeah, you know, like really complex. My episode has, deals with a lot of complex monologues, and it's, yeah. you know, I've got to shout out to the women in our cast who kind of led and carried that episode. Uh, Dina and Alexis did just phenomenal work with, you know, really complex things to land as an actress. Um, and just embodied it and made it emotional and human and warm and people really responded to that. So, incredible. So, we love that. We want more. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm a TV fanboy at the end of the day, and I had always wanted to work with Adina. I mean, I wanted to work with, 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 with Keith and Clark and everybody. Adina was working on the show next door, that near right near us. I was doing a show called Big Love, and she was doing Chicken Life. I was so jealous <laughs> that I didn't get to work with her and have all these years go by, and then to see the work that she got to do with Michael, which is such a great theatrical Oh, jump for her, yeah. not not for her as a jump, just in terms of the type of television we were doing. It was it, it was exciting, and so between that and then <laughs> taking the risk of this thing and Sam hearing was that Kelly really just kind of <laughs> well, like went for it and trusted her gut. And it, I know she ran up a lot of it. The <laughs> is that quick to the risk? And really Thank you both. Thank so you. I think it's great yeah, to know yeah. we have that yeah. I definitely agree. And then what was the most challenging part of kind of bringing this world to life? Because you do have these real world traumas at the heart of it with kind of the fairy tale fantastical element as well. Yeah, I think that was, I think that was the really hard bit. I think it was hard making sure that it felt, the characters felt believable, grounded, and their experience was real. We as an audience were subjectively with them. And that, yeah, we are selling that 
this horror, this fairy tale that's taking place now, you know, in the world we live in, in Harlem, and that it's, that is, yeah, that bringing the audience along with that and hopefully doing it, you know, just drawing them in bit by bit. Mm-hmm. But it, again, that came from, you know, Victor had already done a lot of the heavy lifting in his book and Kelly had done tons of that and then, you know, taking that baton on in the writing, so. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I came in like later in the season and yeah, picking up what Melina and Jonathan have done in treading that line, you know, when to lean into the human and emotional and when to dialogue the kind of surreal thrill that you need for the show to kind of, you know, have its unique signature. So it's always, and, you know, my episode really treads that line a lot and deciding when to kind of give the audience something that kind of excites them and when to just hold on a dinner and just let it be magical. So it's a it's the it's the tight rope of, of doing the show, but really exciting TV and I hope something really like exciting for an audience to hold to. And then if we get a season two, where would you like to see it go in the future? It's all the way to the end of the novel, right? Uh, so we're about halfway in terms of uh, season one. It's like the first half of the novel pretty much. So yeah, we have um, a few threads to tie up. Um, a few exciting more surprises, <laughs> a few several, ex- some ex- and some exciting kind of like payoffs. So yeah, it's the, completing that story would be really exciting. Yeah, and I mean I can't. It's there's so much we could say, and then we'd be giving away the second season. That's fair. But it's really exciting, and the show hasn't even touched on what the show is really about. Yeah, and the, the novel doesn't even hit that till about halfway through. So yeah, and you just get a glimpse of it at the end of season one. And you're like, oh shit. Yeah, I think it really steps into the genre in the, in the second right. in the second season. I think it really becomes the full the full magical fairy tale. Yeah. 